All right, guys, so I'm doing evading, logging, and monitoring. I have to say, this is one of the most challenging rooms only because it did not work at the end, but I got the flags, so uh, just follow along with me. We'll go through this together. All right, so I'm going to put the flags in the comment section. Um, right off the bat, you're going to just want to copy over your credentials and go over here to event tracing. Um, so for event tracing, um, so that one's going to be controllers and 4726. So that's task two. And uh, essentially, you want to either bypass or delete the logs. And they provide this nice little picture here. Um, oh, actually, it's an intro. Um, OK, so maybe it's it's here. OK, yeah, yeah, this is the, this is it. So you have your provider, so I'm guessing that's the app. Then you have your at tracing session, and those means that you know the events will either go to a controller like a seam, or it will go to the consumer like the event um, event logger, um, and that, or it will end. I mean, it will get like go into the log files, right, to be stored. Um, so I believe that's how it is. This one wasn't uh, as clear as other rooms, but luckily uh, the only task we had was task 10. So the rest of these tasks, I'll post those flags in the uh, description or comment section, maybe both. And for task 10, this one was pretty challenging. Uh, the walkthrough didn't help much. Uh, so let me kind of show you where I got with that. Maybe you guys might figure it out. I did get the flag, although uh, let's just say I had to um, do some things to get the flag. <laughs> I'll show you how I did that too. Um, that's actually pretty great because if I ever, it, yeah, if I ever need to get that flag, I can. So anyhow, it looks like it's trying to connect me there. So I try to connect again. Hopefully it goes through. Let's see, is that the correct IP? No, it's because it's not the correct IP. Okay, let me copy the right one out here. All right, and then we'll try to connect. Okay, we're connecting. We're connecting. This is good. Put in the credentials. Guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You don't have to like it. Please subscribe because I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. If you guys don't know, YouTube does not pay you until you get a thousand subscribers. Me, I'm doing this completely free, taking the time out of my day to make this video because I, I know this one's you know, hanging a lot of people up. In exchange, you subscribe. That's all I ask. If you guys do that, that'd be the role to me. And I could keep creating these videos knowing that eventually one day I will get paid for this. All right, so let's go ahead and dynamically talk this here. All right, so I open up PowerShell. And if you guys wanted to, you guys could just look at the flags in the description, right? I'm just showing you what I did. This is just extra, okay? Um, but what they say to do here is to run the script. So here's the script. GPO bypass, if you look in it, it's basically going to do what we've learned in the previous task, which is set the GPO to um, zero out the 403s and 404 events, 4104 events, and disable logging. But for some reason, it either doesn't work or there's something missing. And after you do that, it says to open up either the event viewer with the GUI or remove uh, the events in PowerShell. So I don't know how to do it in PowerShell, but I do know how to open up the, the event viewer. So I open up the event viewer and then I navigated here to this location of PowerShell operations and I cleared the log. Then you should be able to run the agent.exe and then that should start working for you, but it didn't. So I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. This is not working, obviously. See, we're waiting for that to open. Okay. So it should be this easy, right? Go to desktop. If you could spell desktop. 
workspace GPO. All right, run the scripts. That will disable logging. Go to the event viewer. All right, go to, I believe it's Windows, no, not Windows Log. It's, it's application service, I believe. Let me wait for this to load. Everything's still loading right now. Huh, okay. Ugh, these are so slow. Hmm. Okay. This is just taking its time, taking its time. Let's see how PowerShell's doing. Scripts run, it's good. So let me show you how I was able to see the flag. So open up WordPad. All right, and then here's the um, PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. So I cleared this, I was thinking, okay, let me clear this. Let me see if I can, it doesn't tell you to clear it, but I'm like, okay, they'll. Let's do that. Let's clear that one. Okay. And after you do that, you click Microsoft, Windows, and it loads a bunch of files here. And then I think you should be able to just go all the way down to PowerShell. PowerShell. All right. And then operational. And when you click on that, it should show you some logs here. So then I went here and I clear the logs. Okay, clear the logs because I just ran the GPO script and I don't want them to know that I ran that. And let's go here to disable logs. Okay, so we disable logs. So it's not even enabled, right? And I go here and I run my agent.dxe thinking, well, this is all I need to do, right? And then it tells me I failed the mission. And it's like, okay, um, guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. So then I open up the file, WordPad, open up this, go here, desktop. Go to agent, open it. And then control F, teach him. And if you keep scrolling, uh, here's the flag right here. It's right here. Right, but um, it's kind of difficult because they put ones and L's right next to each other just to trip you up. And so what I did was I just copied it. <laughs> I just put it in a notepad and I just, this is under task 10. So you go here. All right. And I shouldn't have to do this, right? Like I should be given clear instructions or they should just give me the um, solution. But like, obviously I tried this on my own. It didn't work. And how do I know you guys' solution isn't isn't wrong? Like, there's got to be a checks and balances here. And so uh, I can't check it. So anyhow, I just paste that in. Rain confetti on me. I'm done with this one. This room was cool. I learned how to clear the logs and cover my tracks. So awesome. Wish that I wish that task ten was actually had a solution here step by step with pictures if i'm paying ten dollars a month or x dollars a month for your subscription to try hack me i would expect them to at least give you a legitimate solution and not just play hardball and give you this because you know this is like when you're in school and you look in the back of the book even though you know some people say don't look at the back of the book well how are you supposed to know if you're wrong or right <laughs> and you look back there and it's got, you know, a picture of a monkey. Like that doesn't help. 
at all. <laughs> Anyhow. All right, guys. Hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe. Have a good one. Danny out.